I also have these centering springs that I want to replace while I'm under here. But it's pretty tight. Just for reference, this is where we're at on the car, directly above the trans brace. This little cap right there. There's another on the other side. Open those up and pull the spring out, and this helps firm up the the centering of your, you know, shifter in the car. Just use an adjustable wrench, actually the biggest one I got. Opened all up, almost all the way up and was able to get a hold of it. Springs in there so it'll want to pop out. The hardest part is getting it, the thread started again. Kind of have to press it in with one hand and twist it with the other. This one's a bit tighter, but you can still reach it with an adjustable wrench. Hopefully we can get it out with our fingers here. Shorter spring. This one's gonna be a bitch to get back in. getting enough pressure on it and being able to thread it back into the slot is a little tough. Uh, we'll get it. I definitely want to drive it, but I can certainly feel the difference in the shifter now. It's much more firm. It just really brings it back to center. There was so much slot before, just a jiggly mess before, so. Chances are you're driving a 15, 20 year old 350C and things are starting to get a little bit worn out and your shifter might be a little bit jigglier, a little bit softer than it's supposed to be. Uh, maybe you have trouble making some of those crucial gear changes because you're, you got so much slop in your stick. Well, these centering springs are meant to help that. Uh, they put that pressure on the, uh, the lower part of the shifter. It just kind of, between shifts, it's pushing it back to that neutral spot. So it just makes the, the shifter feel a little bit more stiff, takes a little bit of a slop. Let's get rid of some of this wind noise. Um, like I said, installation is quite easy. I made the mistake of not moving the shifter when I was trying to do it. Uh, if you're doing the if you're doing the passenger side, you want to make sure that your shifter is in like fifth gear or reverse. It puts that bottom part of your shifter toward the driver's side, which means it pushes that spring further in its little slot, and you'll see in the video. I really like how firm the shifter is right now. I hope, I hope the camera is catching it. It used to be real vibrating in here. I can feel it in my hand now. Nothing. Beautiful. Well, right off the bat, I can tell you there's a big difference. I, I can tell. I could tell immediately leaving the driveway, to be quite honest. Uh, I would say for the price and the ease of installation, 
well worth it. I mean, just make this upgrade. I, I've seen some people say that it's a little bit too stiff for them. I don't see that at all. It's This is perfect. Like I said, guys, there's a lot more to come for the 350Z project. We got motor mounts. We have Z1 Motorsports adjustable upper control arms for the front of this car. Uh, we got the plenum spacer from Z1 Motorsports. And, of course, we got some testing to do with this thing. We want to get her out and rip it a little bit this summer. So heading to the mountains, heading to the twisties. Got a lot of stuff coming up, so I hope you guys will follow along. Appreciate you watching this one. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. Also, check out the description for links to any of the parts installed today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.